Welcome back to Life and Style. It's a Tistic Tuesday and it's a chocolate art kind of Tuesday. It's Valentine's, so we're spreading the love all the way to you. We're giving away three uh, Dairyland gift hampers and all you have to do is tell us what are the different flavors of the chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> so which ones do you know? Use the hashtag KTN Life and Style and you could be a winner. Three winners. That's what we're looking for today. We're on paintbrush and I've got a lovely lady who's doing phenomenal work. If you can see the set, it's totally lit. looks really, really beautiful. Courtesy of Candy. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. You know what? The way you're very polite, but your, your art speaks louder. <laughs> it's so loud and it's so beautiful. Amazing work. Thank you. Thank you so and much. And this is what we like to see. Okay. Now, maybe you could, I see different forms of art here, mm -hmm. but I'll let you explain um, what it is that you do mm. and uh, what you call it and stuff like that. Yeah, so I mostly do pot po pencil portraits. Yeah, there are pencil portraits that I do and then uh, I've recently started painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, most recently I've started doing mat. I've started making mats now. But mostly, the, the main thing that I do is pencil portraits. Pencil portraits? Yeah, on How canvas. How have you been doing it? I've been doing it, drawing. Drawing I started, I think, back in 2003. Mm -hmm. But then, professionally, I started in 2014. Okay. Yeah. What, what made you get into it professionally? Because people make uh, these things probably to satisfy a deeper hunger for something. Yeah. Or just to just to satisfy a passion. Mm -hmm. So what drove you from yeah. it not just being a passion, but to make money out of it? Yeah. I think I, I had a friend on Facebook who, who, who was selling them. Mm? Ah. Yeah, and I, and I thought that maybe... I, I could I could also f I could also do commission commissioned pieces mm -hmm. yeah so yeah I thought it would be it's a it's a good source of income anyway <laughs> yeah I like it when I hear artists say that yeah. because it means that your passion is paying yeah it means that you can get something that people are actually appreciating yeah. what you love to do and you said you love a pencil portrait yes. on canvas yeah but you're also trying to do a bit of paint now. Yeah. So what's the big difference between the two and why are you leaning more towards, because you even yeah. came with a whole set of yeah. little pencils, yeah. <laughs> very tiny, tiny little pencils. Yeah. Okay. So all those pencils, there are 15, there are 15 pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, all those 15 pencils went into that, that big piece. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Thank you so much. So you use all the 15 pencils yeah. in this. Yeah. They have uh, deeper shades, lighter shades. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 8B. It's 8B pencil. 8B pencil, it's a bit thicker and darker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it, it has that, that capturing effect as opposed to the other pencils. Mm -hmm. So it's darker, yeah. It's more vibrant. Yeah. So paintings... Paintings I started doing after I went to an exhibition and I saw some other artists doing, so many artists were doing paintings and uh, I thought maybe I, I would also start so that I have, I have a variety of products, not just pencils, yeah. Okay, and how's no, pencils that I've done for, for a longer time than yeah. paintings, yeah. Totally, I, 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 clearly you love the mm -hmm. pencil. <laughs> yeah. So how has it been going with the, with the paint? Paintings, I'm still, I'm still working on them. I haven't started... I haven't started portrait like portrait paintings. Yeah, yeah, I mostly do abstract now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, that's beautiful. All those that's are abstract. Really beautiful. Yeah, but right now I want to I want to really try and and do facial paintings. Yeah, portraits, portrait paintings. Portrait now. paintings. Yeah. So you haven't tried that no, yet. No, I haven't Th tried that it one, yet. That one that's abstract. I see. Yeah, it's also abstract. It's also abstract. Yeah. Even if you can see like a face there popping <laughs> yeah. from the shadows. Yeah. What is that about though? It looks very scary. Uh, <laughs> it's it's called bold. Yeah. It's called bold. Yeah. Why so? What Just are you trying to being capture yourself, in that? Being being loud, being out there. Okay. Yeah. Is that something that yeah. you are? Yeah, it? I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is yeah. that how you express yourself? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I do express myself. I my the colors that I use, I use bright colors. Yeah. And even my pieces, you see they they really stand out. I think I think I'm more loud in my in my artworks, I'm ah. more bold in the artworks, yeah. Which is very, very Thank interesting. You. Thank very, very. You. So how long did it take you to make this particular piece? Yeah, that piece took around three months. Three months? Yeah, it took three months. Of that every day or you take a pose no, like a writer's I, I take, block? I take breaks, <laughs> yeah. I take breaks in, mm -hmm. in there, yeah. Yeah, 
Wow. It's very it's very draining to do it continuously. You have to to take breaks in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you started, it, do you, did you want it to look exactly like yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the image that you had in your mind. Exactly. Yeah. They say that uh, most of the painters dream it before they paint it. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I really wanted something African. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to represent Africa. In, yeah, in pencil now. Yeah, African beauty. Okay, hey, it I is beautiful, I very, Thank very you. beautiful. Thank you. So did you have someone to mentor you when you got into the field professionally? And how mm. was that for you? Mm, yeah, my mentor, I'd say it was my, my dad. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, it's mostly my, my, my dad. I think since I was, I was in primary, I started drawing in class five, yeah. So back then he'd bring, he'd bring me drawing books and pencils, yeah. And I just keep, kept on practicing, yeah. And he kept on supporting me in it. Yeah. Even when you got professional? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. even, even more so now. More so now. Yeah. The market, how did you break into the market? Because, of mm. course, there were, uh, you know, other painters in there yeah. who were doing their yeah. thing and selling their stuff. Mm. And some of them are legends. Yeah. So how was it for you to break through into the market? Yeah. So now I, I, used, to, I used to do paintings for friends, drawings for, for friends. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think maybe the work spoke for itself. Yeah, I, th I think the pieces marketed themselves because cause I, I started getting more clients, more and more clients from, yeah, from my friends now. Uh, then it yeah. went on. What of mouth? Yeah, now Facebook. Mm -hmm. now, now there's Facebook, yeah, there's, there's Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at that piece and yeah. I don't know what to, you know, mm -hmm. like pick this out one? from it. Yes. Yeah. What was going through your mind and what you're yeah. trying to express there? Some sort of innocence, I'd say. It's called ballerina. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to be. You know my pieces are very are very bold, but I wanted to do one more, more subtle, more more more. I don't know more. Subtle, polite, yeah, yeah, innocent. Exactly. Yeah, more innocent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the word. That's yeah, innocent. <laughs> yeah. So you captured that in that. Yeah. So what what is happening there? So mm -hmm. the ballerina, I see she's fixing. Just her. peaceful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In her zone. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Totally. And I love the way that you've put gold around it. Yeah. So that, that, that I wanted it to look a bit angelic. Yeah. Okay. So maybe with the abstract clouds and yeah, the gold. Maybe right. from the reflection of the sun. Okay. Yeah, in the clouds, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. This other one. Mm. Very polite as well. If you ask yeah. me between the two, I'd say this is the peaceful one. Which one? <laughs> the one at the, the center. One, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what is it about? I, I started I started I started it as a, as an abstract, but then I needed something to to really pop out mm, to really pop out. So I I went for the white flowers instead, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I just highlighted around the flower, okay. maybe to bring some effect. That's really good. Yeah. So how much would this? Uh, mm. What do you call it? It's a drawing. It's a, it's a drawing, but drawing. yes, but yeah. you called that you know mm. you call oh, it ballerina. Yeah. You call that one bold. Yeah. So what that's my African Empress. That's your African Empress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you seem very attached to this particular yeah, piece. Yeah, very attached. Would you it. sell it? Yeah. You would. Yeah, I would. Though, <laughs> though it takes a lot, a lot of uh, strong will, yeah. encouragement, motivation, and all of that yeah. to sell it. Yeah, I, I really have to push myself to to mm. let it go, but. But yeah, it has to go someday. Someday, yeah. probably. Yeah. So how much would such a, mm. ha, such a drawing go for? Now, my, all my pieces, they range from between 5,000 and okay. up to 70,000. Ah. Yeah, so the pricing is all in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yes. that's, that's very, very interesting. Mm. And how can people get in touch with you? Are you on social media? Yeah. Of course you are, because yeah. Facebook, you're definitely <laughs> yeah. getting a huge market there. Mm -hmm. And Instagram as well. So how can people yeah. find you? Yeah, so on Facebook, um, Candy Vendi with a V. Candy Vendi. Yeah, That's all my candy. pieces are, are, are named Vendi Arts. Vendi Arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Candy Vendi on Facebook. Then my phone number. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 0725008591. That's 0725. <laughs> I got lost somewhere there. Just say that again. <laughs> 0725008591. Yeah. Do you have like a gallery? Have you been have you uh, been to an exhibition where it's just showcasing your art? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There's an exhibition I usually I usually take my pieces. It's in Lavito Lavington, just opposite Valley Arcade. Yeah, it's called Owl's Nest. 
Yeah, it's, it's where I usually exhibit my pieces every first Sunday of the month. Every first Sunday of yeah, the month? Yeah, okay. yeah. But mostly I do my pieces just at home. I just graduated last year, so right now when I'm still looking for a job, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm developing my art as well. That's really good. Yeah. Did you study fine art or you studied something really. totally, co totally different? Yeah, it's, I actually did actual science, which is, which are like polar opposites yes, of each totally. other. But yeah, but I, I've loved art from, from, from when I was, I was young. Yeah, so, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and I also see you doing amazing job. This is a mat. Yeah, it's a mat. Hand. N is it neat, hand knit? Yeah, it's knitted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you just use a crochet to to fix each each string, each strand. Yeah. And the design, do you draw yeah. that fast yeah. on the t what is it called? The thing on the where you knit it from? Yeah, there's a rubber. There's a rubber mesh okay. underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I wanted it to have my touch. You know, there are so many people making mats. Yes. Yeah. So I decided to to also include my art in it. Okay. Yeah, and then I just put the pillows. To, to sort of blend blend with the mat. You see the red, the, the red, red the lipstick. Mat. Yeah, the red lipstick, yeah. And so I, I needed a bit more red. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Red, and yeah. it's not yet done, so you yet yeah, to complete yeah, it. Yeah, it's not yet done. <laughs> How long does this take you to do? <laughs> that one took, that one took uh, around two months. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work yeah. and the patience. Yeah. And you're only doing one at that point, particular part time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're very patient and yeah. very talented as thank well. You, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, much for coming onto the show. Thanks Candy. for having me. Candy Vendi. Yeah. <laughs> I Candy like that. <laughs> Candy, thank you so much for coming onto the show. Thank you for Highly having me. Highly appreciated. Us. This has been Paint Brush. Mm -hmm. And remember, the question you need to answer for you to walk away with a uh, Dairyland uh, gift hamper is how many flavors do you know of the chocolates? Yeah, of the chocolates. So, how many flavors do you know? There's so, so many, so, so many. So go ahead and text us on our social media platforms, KTN Life and Style. Use that particular hashtag, KTN Life and Style, and we will be telling you who is the winner later on. We have to give a short commercial break. When we come back, it's all about visual arts.